What's up everyone, my name's Gary. And today we are at Blue Spring, which is at the end of a steep gravel road. According to the book Springs of Missouri, the name Blue Spring is held by a minimum of five springs. But this Blue Spring in Shannon County is the most well-known in the state, and for good reason. So this is a pretty level trail. It's not really hard at all, but this is the trail that comes in from the campground. But this is a real good first view of Current River. Okay, so this sign reads different than the one we just passed. I believe it said the sixth largest, and this is claiming it's the eighth largest. Okay, so we're crossing over a stream. I almost guarantee you there's a spring up this way. That is flowing really good. There would not to be a spring somewhere up there. Springs have held special meeting for people over the centuries. Native Americans have referred to this spring as the spring of the summer sky. And for good reason. According to the Missouri Department of Conservation website, this dissolved limestone and or dolomite, along with the influence of the spring's depth and the blue of the sky, impart the blue color of the spring. Okay, so here's a memorial sign to a Richard Hager. Apparently he owned and preserved this spring for 25 years. Yep, there's no diving, swimming, wading, and fishing. This first glimpse of Blue Spring leads one overcome with sheer wonder of the Missouri Ozarks. This peaceable setting is one of the reasons to seek out these natural settings to explore. Yeah, this place is beautiful. So we've got this dolomite bluff in the background. So we know from some of our previous spring visits that this is cave making material. So. 310 feet below here is the bottom of the spring. So you could actually submerge the Statue of Liberty into it and the torch would still be five foot underneath the water. That is impressive. There are a couple of really good viewpoints out through here. Yeah, you can just get some beautiful pictures out here in the right conditions. On average, over 90 million gallons pushed forth from the spring daily. Yeah, this camera is just not doing it justice, but you can see with this part of the bluff, it just disappears into the abyss. So on one of the placards coming in, I read a cool story about throwing an anvil in with a rope attached to see how far it would go down, see how deep it was. At some point, they kept on feeding rope and rope and rope and it never touched bottom. Once that anvil reached a certain depth, it became buoyant because of the water pressure. This was thought to be bottomless at one time. Yeah, and like I said, you really can't see it bubbling up like a uh, alley, but it is there. It is definitely there where it is bubbling up. If you told me this would produce that creek, that would be hard to believe, but it is. So this doesn't go up very far, but it is kind of a steep climb. But after we get around this bend, we should see the observation deck. So I don't think we're gonna get that good view. So right there is the bridge platform, but it kind of gives us an overview of the Blue Spring area. Yep, we can't go any further here. Okay, this makes the third snake I've seen today. This one's right in the trail. Get a little garter snake. Yep, he doesn't want to be here. Yay, he's gone. So it's been about a month and a half since I filmed the footage for Blue Spring. And I wanted to come back and correct some information that I found a little misleading, and that information was about the submersion of the Statue of Liberty. I got that information off a sign there, and I just kind of ran with it. So according to the Ozark Cave Diving Alliance website, it goes 278 feet down, and then it goes up a little bit underneath the bluff, and then it goes back down. So what that means is you cannot submerge the Statue of Liberty completely within that spring. Now, overall, I assume that uh, that is 310 feet 
you know, in levels and sections that goes down. It's still really deep at 278 feet. Uh, I just wanted to clarify that information so it was less confusing that uh, you could not completely submerge the Statue of Liberty unless you've been in, which uh, we don't want to do. Welch Spring is the sixth largest spring in Missouri with an average flow of 75 million gallons per day. But what makes this spring unique is that upon its bank is not the common grist mill, but an abandoned hospital that is rich in history. Click below for the next video on the Missouri Ozark series.